the road and you know you've experienced this first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> and I'll share my experience. I think in 2014, I ran for Madare parliamentary seat uh, during a by-election. And, and, you know, sometimes when I look or I hear young people talking about running for an office, it's not the same way we, 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 we think or just uh, feel I want to run for an office. It was a great experience for me. I think I learned so many, so, so many things. And uh, and one of the undoing for young people is resources. And if you want to run for an office, if you want to run for an office, even before you declare, just make sure that you have your house in order because people will be attracted to you if they feel you, you are worth that. And the only way to, to show that is when you have resources or resourceful people around you. However, uh, as young people, I have been encouraging people that, you know, there are resources that we can share as young people. We don't have to run expensive campaigns as uh, other, you know, uh, especially sitting members of parliament or, or, or governors or MPs or, or uh, senators run. But we can share resources. Uh, I remember that time there's a friend of mine who used to, you know, we would use the same uh, track. Yeah. She would use the truck in the morning to do her campaign, then I'll use the truck in the evening. So we hire the truck for the whole day, but now we cost Grand share. Campaigns. Yes. Yeah. So there are so many things when you prepare early enough, uh, we are able to get to that. And in elections, what I learned, there are stakeholders. Uh, and now I am trying to convince other young people from Madare who are not in, in the country to look at what we have in our community and see if, if it, the leadership that we have now is something that they're proud of. If they're not proud of it, they have to invest in, in that. And the middle class also, we've seen the challenges we are facing as a country now. We can't be sitting pretty and saying, oh, watu wa kibera watapiga kura ama watu wa madhara watapiga kura. When we are facing the challenges we are facing now, so many have been, uh, have been rendered jobless. And it's because of the leadership that we have. So even them, if they cannot vote, if they cannot do anything, let them mobilize resources and support the people that they feel can present their inter uh, interests. Yeah. So, so there's, there's so much logic around running for an office. And, and I just want to ask young people. I, I, I think I have examples of uh, young people from different countries. I yeah. think I get inspired by uh, one young guy from Canada who was elected uh, uh, to the House of Commons when he was only 19 years old. So it's very possible, but you have to organize yourself well. Yeah. You have to have a good team around you. Don't just yeah. wake up in the morning and say, Unajua naona ni kama ni metosha. Yeah. Yes. 